Today what we're going to talk about is how to do a spaghetti squash in an air fryer. Uh, it actually has taken me a little time to sort of perfect this and uh, get it to where I think it's ready for prime time, uh, but I do think I've got the process down. So one of the complications that I ran into was I found that the air fryer changed the consistency of the spaghetti squash when I put it in. And so after some experimentation, what we're going to do is after we split the spaghetti squash and clean it out and oil it and put a little bit of salt and pepper on it, we're going to put it face down on a rack covered in aluminum foil. And then that will mimic uh, very much the same sort of cooking experience that you get in a convection oven. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to split the spaghetti squash and clean it out. Uh, when you're cutting the spaghetti squash down the middle, be careful. These do roll and uh, it is an easy way to cut yourself. So just apply a little bit of leverage and rotate the spaghetti squash around. And if it's not perfectly in the center, it really doesn't matter. It'll cook just fine. So the next thing, we go ahead and use our squash tool. And clean out the center. If you don't have a squash tool, a large spoon will work pretty well. Once the squash is cleaned out, the next thing we're gonna do is just oil it and put a little bit of salt before we place it face down on the rack. I like to oil the outside. I just think it cooks a little better. And I just apply a little bit of salt. And then what we do is we take our rack and a sheet of aluminum foil. After experimenting a fair amount with this, what I found is uh, for most air fryers, you're gonna wanna do 310 degrees for 25 minutes, again, with them face down on the foil. For the spaghetti squash, I find putting it on a middle lower rack is best. Okay, once again, our spaghetti squash is cooked for 25 minutes. I've let it sit in the warm air fryer for an additional five minutes after it was finished. Let's see how it looks. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, we're gonna let that sit for just a few more minutes and let it cool down before we take our fork to it and turn it into spaghetti. So now that the spaghetti squash has sat uh, for about five minutes, you can barely see steam coming up and you can hold it in your hand. It's probably a good time to start turning it into spaghetti. So you just take a fork, it's a really simple technique, and you just sort of scrape along and you'll see that it just starts to break apart into the spaghetti strands. I do about half and then I flip it around and start working on the other side. The ends tend to be a little bit firmer, they're a little harder. Okay, and then once you've, kind of take a look at this. So we've done about halfway on both. It's still attached in the center. And then what I like to do is you just take the fork like this and just sort of scoop down the bottom and it frees it up. And the other advantage of having the aluminum foil is that it's a great place to deposit the spaghetti squash. And you just sort of scrape out the remaining bits. And the texture, 
took me a little while in the air fryer to get it right, but you can see this is the kind of firm texture that you really want with spaghetti squash. When you're doing it, watch out for little bits of the shell or the skin that break off. Now one end, the end with the root or with the stem, you're you're not going to want to go after that too much. I usually just give up on that part and I go and work around it. And then sort of as like as a last sort of step, I'll go through and see if any of it is clumped together. This actually came out really nicely. This is a good squash. And sometimes you can do everything right and you don't always get a great squash. This one happens to be a pretty good one. There we have air fryer spaghetti squash. I do think this saves a little bit of time and it certainly uses a lot less energy and takes certainly a lot less time to preheat. Um, if you're thinking about what to do next, I do have other videos that'll give you some ideas. I'm not a big fan of using red sauce, but if that's your thing, I would uh, definitely encourage you to make a thick marinara or get a thick marinara. Take a look at Alfredo and also look at just using butter or oil or a little bit of white wine and maybe some chopped parsley. So uh, if you've enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if right now you would go ahead and click subscribe. And if you would, please click like if you've enjoyed this video and ring that bell so you don't miss out on future videos.